believe that every online store should be equipped with six essential pages that ensure your online store looks professional and that your customers can confidently purchase from. So want to know what they are and how you can set them up on your Shopify store? Then be sure to stick around for this video. Let's get into it. Customers generally purchase from people they know, like, or trust, or a combination of those three. One of the easiest ways to gain their trust is to have a professional looking online store. So in order to gain their confidence and trust, you want to have your store equipped with some essential key elements. And some of these key elements that I would include, include these six essential pages. So apart from the home page and products page, I believe that every online store should be equipped with the following pages. An about page, a contact us page, an FAQ page, which is frequently asked questions, the terms of service page, a privacy policy page, and a returns policy page. So let's go through each of these pages now and show you how you can easily add them to your Shopify online store. So once you log into your Shopify store, you'll be redirected to this screen here. So what we want to do is we want to first add our about page. I'll go through the steps now to show you how to do this. So what we want to do is we want to have a look with what we're starting with. So let's just press on this I button here and it'll come up with our store. And as you can see, I haven't added anything to this store as yet. This is a fresh brand new store. And the only pages we've currently got is this home page and the catalogs page with where your products are. If we scroll down to the bottom, so in the footer here, all we've got is this search button here, but we haven't got any other pages. So what we wanna do is we want to go back to our Shopify dashboard. We want to go to online store and click here to pages. Now we want to add page. And the first page we're gonna be adding today is the about us page. So we'll just name it about us. And here you would add your description. If you would like, you can also add in images, you can insert a video. So have a play around with this so it fits with your brand. Then click save. So there we go, the About Us page was created. If we go back to pages now, you'll see that the About Us page is just down here. Let's create a Contact Us page. Again, add page, name it Contact Us. And instead of having details down here, what I like to actually do is add a template form. And you do this by clicking this button down here where it says template suffix and put in page contact, then click save. Let's go back and now let's add the FAQ page, the title FAQ. And here you would add in your questions. So it's as easy as that, just have a play around with it then click save and let's go back and we'll scroll down here. So there we have it. There's our first three essential pages for our online store. The next three pages we want to add are our terms of service, privacy policy and returns policy page. Shopify actually has legal templates already preloaded within the dashboard. So I'll show you how to go grab those now. So just go down to settings, head on over to legal, and as it says here, so you can create your own legal pages or create them from templates and customize them. So to do that, what you wanna do is just go to refunds policy here and go create from template, click on that. And what it does is it preloads a refund policy for you. Just go through all these details to make sure that they actually apply to your business. So let's just do that for the privacy policy and for terms of service then click save. Now what we want to do is we want to copy this text into our pages. So we do this by going to, again, to online store, go down to pages, go add page, terms of service. And then where it says content, we want to copy and paste that text that we preloaded from the legal settings. So the easiest way to do that is to just open up settings in a new tab. So right click, open link in new tab, go to legal, find terms of service, and just copy all this text. 
go back to your dashboard in terms of service page and then just paste it easy now let's press save and let's go back and you'll just see it down here so what we want to do now is we want to do this for the privacy policy page and the returns policy page i'll go ahead and do that now and i'll get back to you when it's all done okay so there we have it we've got our six pages here we've got it about us contact us faqs privacy policy returns policy and terms of service page now that we've got these pages, what we want to do is link them to our main menu and in our footer menu. I'll show you how to do that now. So what we want to do is head over to navigation. So here we can see the footer menu and the main menu. I like to include the terms of service, privacy policy and returns policy in the footer menu as it's not really a page that you want your customers to have front and center when they first come onto your home page. So what I'll do is I'll add the about page, contact us and FAQs page in the main menu. So let's just click main menu. We want to go add menu item and we want to name it about us. And in the link, you want to link it to those pages that we created. So click down to pages and about us, add. Next, we'll do that for contact us page. So go add menu item, contact us, pages, contact us page, add. And now for the FAQ page, click save, and it's as easy as that. Now let's have a look at our site to see if these pages have been updated. Click on the I button and here we have on the top here our home, our catalogue, about us, contact us and FAQs. So let's have a look into these pages. Click on about us and here we have the title and where we would add our description. The contact us has that preloaded form so people can type in their name, email, phone number and create their message and it'll get sent directly to your email and our FAQs page where we would add our questions and answers. Let's go ahead now and add our terms of service, privacy policy and returns policy pages into our footer. Scroll up, go to navigation. Now let's click in footer menu. At the moment, we've just got the search bar. So what we wanna do is go add menu, terms of service, Pages, Terms of Service, Add. And for the Privacy Policy, Pages, Privacy Policy, Add. And for the Returns Policy. Save. Okay, let's go check that out. Click on the I button here. And if we scroll down to the bottom to our footer menu, here we have our new pages. So we've got our terms of service, privacy policy and returns policy. And they're all clickable links and it'll send your customers directly to those pages. So let's just click on terms of service and check that out. So here we have our heading, the terms of service, and here is all that text that we copied over from our legal pages. So there you have it, the six essential pages that I would recommend you include on your Shopify store. This is just one of the many steps that I cover in my step-by-step -step tutorial on how to start an online store using Shopify, which you can find the link to in the comments below. So if you are looking to take the leap and start your own online store, then be sure to check it out.